Yes, so today we're going to update the firmware on this VOFO dash camera. Now it doesn't matter which model you have, but this one is the A129 Duo. The first thing that you do is go on a browser and go to VOFO's website, which is VOFO.com. Now this is their website. It's a good looking website and it's kind of robust and they're featuring here the A129 Duo because it's such a fantastic camera and it's doing very very well. Now if you want to update your firmware here you just scroll down a little tiny bit and off to the right here it says up update camera so you click on that and then you're gonna choose your camera it's got their different models here this is the A129 now this is the latest firmware it'll tell you version 1.5 so here's a downloadable link and you click on it and it'll download. Mine will sit it right here. And then down here it has the um, instructions on what exactly to do. So the first instruction here is to of course have a memory card that is formatted either FAT32 from the computer or by the camera itself. And you're going to want to insert the SD card into the camera and then you're going to plug in this camera by the USB port now I found that maybe you don't want to use the GPS mount to plug this in you want to use this USB port and I've also found that you're going to want to use the short cable that came with this camera and not the long cable now when you do that this is what happens the little record light lights up and then you'll get a little start screen and that little noise and then it should go into a mass storage mode here we go it says micro SD card reader mode and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna just you're gonna wanna just copy this uh, downloaded bin file so I'll go over here these are all my downloaded files I'll click copy and then I'll go to the camera and we'll go into the root of the camera which is this here right click and we'll put paste it's a very small file it takes no time at all to do this and then it says after you've copied that bin into your folder you're going to want to disconnect the camera so I'm going to disconnect it here eject demo one it says says it's still open so I can't disconnect it so here eject demo one I've ejected it and now I'm going to unplug this and then it says the next step is to reconnect this back to the computer and it says what's going to happen is that this light it says the front light will blink while it's updating the firmware and then it'll start the camera over again and uh, it's the record light that's blinking there's two or three red blinking lights on the front of this but this is what it does and we'll just wait for it to do everything so that we can see the entire process I don't know maybe it's on this is the startup screen I don't know if me pressing that did anything or not and we're back and it says that this firmware is now installed into the computer and as you can see it came back up with this and that firmware bin file is not here in the root anymore so that's how you do it now my firmware is updated to the very latest version and here on the website it tells you a change log these are all the different things that they've changed in this newest firmware addition. I hope you learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you guys soon.